Yeah, and fuck these bitches. I swear I care about everything but these bitches. Hey YouTube, uh, it's been a while. Don't blame me. Blame Arkham City and the NBA playoffs. So, feminism and ableism. This week we saw the kickoff of the Paralympics. Para what? And unsurprisingly, we also saw a lot of people being dicks about the athletes involved. So we all definitely need to sit down and have a chat about ableism. We don't need to, you would just like us to. But I'm game. Those who are familiar with the feminist community will not be surprised to hear me say that it does have a lot of faults. Can't disagree there. I think the biggest is its fucking existence. Namely that mainstream feminism for many, many years since it came into being has mainly been interested in liberating white, middle-class, cisgendered feminists and screw everybody else. This is clearly really shit because if you only care about a tiny privileged cross-section of women, you're not really caring about all women, are you? Good point. But on the other hand, if you're only caring about women, you're not really caring about people, are you? Sadly, feminism often tends to leave out women who are differently abled or disabled or have mental health problems, etc. Duh, why would you focus on people who can't make you more money? You might be sat there thinking, I'm so not ableist, I don't understand what she's talking about. So let's recap on some really commonly used ableist terms. This just sounds like it's going to be fucking retarded. Firstly, retarded. If I ever see or hear you say this, I will instantly just stop listening to you, as you've really just revealed to the entire world what a massive asshole you are. Oh, feminists are not going to listen to me. Whatever will I do? I'm putting a link below by somebody I really respect that ex I hope it explains to you why your stance on the word retarded is fucking stupid. Two, stupid. People say this all the time, and here is a really handy link explaining why stupid can be considered an ableist concept. I clicked on a link and didn't go anywhere. I also think people often use the word stupid in a really classist way. Bully for you that you got a great and expensive education. Not everybody gets to do that. Excuse me, what the fuck does uh, having a great education and being stupid have to do with each other? Uh, where I'm from, it does get much more expensive than Ivy League. These immigrants have helped transform 13 small colonies into a great and growing nation of more than 300 people. We got an issue in America. Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their, their love with women all across this country. If you're a single mother with two children, which is the toughest job in America as far as I'm concerned, and you're working hard to put food on your family. Families is where our nation finds hope, where wings take dreams. I hear there's rumors on the uh, internet. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. So far, all of your complaints have been really fucking lame. Thirdly, lame. I'm guilty of saying this, and it's a really, really crappy thing to do. Lame in the past... In the past? Who cares about the past? What the fuck does it mean now? ...has often been used to mean people who walk with a limp of similar, and using this in a negative context equates a physical disability with being bad or uncool. So basically what you're saying is, lame used to mean X, now it means Y. And you, someone who was neither disabled or lives in a time where lame means disabled, are offended by this. If you're wondering why nobody respects uh, third wave feminists, this could be it. It's really not my place to be sat here and lecturing you all about ableism. I've never been on the receiving end of it because I do have able-bodied privilege. Able-bodied privilege? I just call that not disabled. Um, and to all able-bodied people watching this, do your reading. It is your responsibility to educate yourself about. No, it's my responsibility to look at stupid videos and point out all the stupid shit in them. And it is your responsibility to keep your privilege in check. And it is your job to ensure that you and all the other able-bodied people out there aren't being massive dickheads. The funny thing is, I don't hear any disabled people crying about what you're crying about. 
But I realized it's because the feminist mind is so much more enlightened than everyone else's. But seriously, dames, I, I want to fix shit. So I emailed you a picture of my date. That is obviously a really shitty thing to do. I thought it was a good idea. Whatever. Sparky Fisser out.